you know, and it's great that this is because without electrification on this section, uh, it would have been a, a bit of a gap. Yeah, shall we say? It's all about improving that connectivity. Yeah, between the the major conurbations. Yeah, in the north with Bolton for one. I think we need to get on the train. Yeah, so I need to get on Where were we? We were just chatting about um, this. Um, we're on board the uh, 319 yeah. uh, electric train, which is running from Bolton up to well, Buckshot Parkway, and we're going to go back towards Bolton. Uh, this is one of the inaugural um, electric trains, which is uh, running on this line now. Yeah. Just um, to, I think to showcase the sort of transformational works that have been undertaken and completed now yeah. in terms of electrifying the line from Manchester Victoria up to Preston, which I hope will improve the connectivity now between a lot of northern conurbations which hopefully the passengers will, will feel the benefit of that yeah. in terms of giving them greater access or faster connectivity between major major towns and cities. Yeah. Do you recognise this chap? Jonathan, communications from Network Rail. And I got that right. I got that right, didn't I? You did get that. I got that right. But uh, this is, is a bit similar to Blackpool, because I experienced Blackpool with the trains coming in there, electric trains coming in there. Yeah. And this is sort of happening now for the Bolton Corridor. Now, I was having a chat with uh, somebody on the train just coming in, uh, and I was explaining that, you know, in a, in a positive way, you've got to look at it in a positive way, that you've experienced what's gone on here on the Bolton Corridor, but you've nailed it. Yeah, so we're here this week. There are electric trains running through Bolton, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, we know it's been a, a hard, a difficult project. It's been difficult for passengers. It's been difficult for Northern, um, and we are really sorry about that. Yeah. Um, but we have got to this this day yeah. where we've got electric trains running on the route. Yeah. Um, Northern are going to be introducing more electric trains on the route this year, which is again absolutely fantastic news. Uh, it means that. Basically, we've come to the fruition of the project. It's been a lot of hard work, but as I say, we're here, the electric trains are here. Now, listen. Let's put everything else to one side. Now, yeah. let's put the, you know, all the, everything that's gone on and uh, the, you know what we've got to today. I want to hear from a network rail communication point of view of how exciting it has been for you and what you've been up to and what other things potentially you know that you're going to get involved. Yeah. Obviously, following you on the Twitter, the GM. RP. <laughs> the GNRP, yeah. um, you know, tell us all about that, that's good. So I'm a local lad, I'm from Preston, yeah. so from my point of view, working on this project, working on the Blackpool project, it's fantastic to see the transport network, the rail network, yeah. be upgraded in Lancashire, in the northwest. Absolutely brilliant to see that investment. Um, we've got loads of other projects um, oh, coming up this year. Yeah. Um, so as Network Rail, we maintain all of the track, yeah. all of the existing, yeah. Uh, assets that you've got on the railway. Um, so we've got projects to rebuild bridges, we're upgrading drainage, uh, we're upgrading signalling systems, replacing bits of track. Um, there's loads to come basically. Yeah. So typically what would your day be or is it not a typical, typical day for the communication side? I would say every, every day is different. Brilliant. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, my, my job is to tell the story of what we're doing. Yeah. Uh, you know, take a load of jargon from our engineering department uh, and, and turn that into what does this mean for yeah. passengers, yeah. what does this mean for our line side neighbours, if we're working, is it going to be disruptive, yeah. um, what are the benefits, yeah. what does that actually look like for the person catching the train. Um, we want to work with the community as well um, and kind of get out there and really really tell people the, the good work that's being done. So when you've got your mobile phone in your hand, most people watch this on the mobile phones, it's that type of thing. Get yourself on the Twitter, get yourself on the Facebook. Twitter, it's the GNRP. <laughs> uh, is it the same for the Facebook? Uh, we have our Network Rail Facebook page, um, so that's just facebook.com forward slash Network Rail. Uh, we're on Instagram, uh, again, at Network Rail. Um, yeah. So exhausted all the time. As with me, like, share, subscribe. You can share the info as well because it, it makes that connection with the public, keeps people informed. Get yourself on there, get yourself following Network Rail because they are the people that you need to keep up to date with. Oh, and of course, me. Make sure you, you like and subscribe as well because that's very important.
Morgan, principal sponsor of Network Rail. No, but you've seen him in the vlogs before. If not, check the link up above. Um, they were explaining everything about what was all done. This is Crystal back up. Come in, Crystal. Hello. Give all the way, um, uh, obviously today as well, it's great news. Uh, I think last week, week before, there was an announcement that about a million pounds is going to be spent on Bolton Station itself. Uh, obviously, we had all that money spent prior to that, which is about three million pounds, wasn't it? Uh, but extra money for Bolton, which is great news. We're seeing at the station, or we're seeing in Bolton, we should expect to see lots of other locations, because the reality is, when you've got a better performing railway, yeah. business is more interested in investing in those areas, because you can get to and from places, and you can bring different talent to and from those locations. Yeah. So you, what, you, what we're seeing at Bolton, and we're talking about the plans for the universities and such, are exactly what we did all this for. Yeah. You just need to get the railway there first, yeah. and, and then other benefits come pretty much on the back of it. This kind of thing. As I was saying, I apologise, I was giving your name. I was told in the hierarchy of Network Rail, you're one of the most important people to adore this station. Oh yeah. Crystal, Network That's Rail. Right. So, were you project manager just for phase four? So I started put with a crossover that went in in Blackrod in 2016. Wow, right. Um, and it has been a journey. Yeah. Um, it's been challenging. But most of all, it's been exciting. Yes, yeah. And I think one of the biggest things that whilst we got quite caught up in a lot of the issues was actually how incredible it is for the North West and to have a team of people from the North West delivering it. And, you know, we did face a lot of challenges yeah. and it was a difficult road to travel. But actually, it's been unbelievable and yeah. the lessons we've learned yeah. from it. Yeah. And hopefully now people can start to see sort of the benefit of it. You know, because we have apologised a lot. Of and course, sure. yeah, know that. Yeah. So we're hoping that now you can start to see things. And, yes. and even that train ride then, you know, you generally can feel it's a smoother ride, yeah. it's quieter. Yeah. So well, being the Blackpool and we've had phase three sorted and nailed, you know, I'm kind of used to it now. Yeah. You know? <laughs> this is the foundation, it doesn't stop here. Yeah, well, this absolutely. is the foundation to induce it more operators, yeah. uh, new trains, um, and this is it, it brings it all together as a jigsaw. Yeah. The whole point of the GNRP uh, is connecting all these railway lines together to make them all work. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it's been a joy, you know, it has been tough, but what a way to change history. Oh, it's fab. Uh, and I'm really interested from like, a community point of view, because I hear that there's going to be some more involvement with the community as regards Bolton Station, and I believe you're the lady to speak to about that. Indeed, yes. So we're actually investing around a million pounds at Bolton Station. So a key thing that I've been involved with is uh, the, the community rooms. So this is the building that we're in right now. Um, so it's a Victoria building, yeah. and we're actually refurbishing the entire first floor, so above us, and then the room we're in, we're furbishing it for community use, retail opportunities, um, enterprise opportunities as well. So it's really good and it basically just gets, we're going to get the university in and the students, we're going to get community groups wow. in. Otkin Theatre, possibly as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just like bringing everyone together. So you're going to look after doing the black canvas of it first, bring it up yeah. to sort of spec, um, and then you're going to present it to the community, say, look, it's now yours, you can use it for your use, you know, what ideas have you got, and let's all get on board, and let's make this a fab space. Exactly, yeah. I was actually just talking to um, Sam Johnson, she's from the art department at the University of Bolton, and she was talking about how she's She's going to get the different art departments to do um, work, like to do with the station. So they're yeah. going to do uh, the textiles department could do like tapestries oh, wow. related to Bolton's history and trains and the station, and um, like photography as well. And that can go all up in the rooms upstairs. So you can showcase so, all that work, and it can become a, a connection with the, the education yeah. side. Trains to real. You've got to get your train. Go on, jog along. Northern, mm. we're very committed to investing in the community, and I think something like this, which I understand is going to house an art space, a community space, yeah. and things. I mean, there's a fantastic amount of enthusiasm that we've heard today. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we're absolutely involved and we support projects like this. We can actually even offer small amounts of funding, what we call seed core funding. For anyone who's got an interest in uh, developing 
what are redundant station buildings across our portfolio. So, uh, bottle station, platform number five. So, this is platform number five here, platform number four here. And this is like, was this originally, I don't know if you know, an old waiting room? It was an old waiting room, right? Then, yes. Um, but of course, as, as we've mentioned, um, turning it into community space, we absolutely support it. And I think it, it could be you know, transformational for, for Bolton, really. Yeah. Um, investing in what is an old redundant station building, bringing it back to life. We've yeah. got the university coming in upstairs. Yes, yeah, brilliant well. news. So there's an upstairs up here? There is an upstairs that used to be our training centre oh, many yeah. years ago. Right. We did our driver, conductor, retail staff training, and now um, it's uh, hopefully going to be moved into by the university. Handed over to the community. I mean, I mean again, I, I mean, people are fed up with me saying this, but you know, this is what the railways are about. They're not an isolated uh, operation. They're, they're part of the community, they're part, and it's part of uh, improving an economy, and you know, you get involved with the universities, and there's going to be a big buzz. And I think, I don't want to use cliche words here, but now the fizzy knitting's working, everywhere's buzzing, Blackpool's buzzing. You know, look, look at the difference that it makes for the lines just by having an electric train running on the tracks. Absolutely. So, first point about community funding, we've got a number of obligations around uh, community funding. It's something that we're obliged to do as part of our franchise agreement. So, we support development of rail use groups and friends of and station adoption. Yeah. We do that um, across the, the patch. We actually do it because we know it actually adds a lot of value. Yeah. It gets people onto the railway. Um, you create a nice station environment, it encourages people to come. Yeah. And link to your second point about 319 and the electrics yeah. that we've, we've seen today. You know, providing a clean, efficient, quiet, spacious, full carriage class 319, fully Lovely. refurbished, it's a massive benefit to our, hey, Chris, to our customers. Chris, you've done a wonderful job with them trains. You know, when I first saw them and got on them and I was looking around, being so used to the older stock, and I like the older stock because I'm a bit nostalgic, uh, but I tell you, wow. You know, what a terrific job you've done with it. And is there any more sort of trains coming on board? This funding that you, 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 you're putting, we've talked about this refurbishment of stock and we've got these trains, these brand new trains from CAF from Spain that are coming onto the system. You know, what other things can you tempt and tell me about? So I think a few things to tell you. Of course, um, uh, I know there's a few rumours about this, but I can confirm that Pacers, you know, we have no plans to use Pacers beyond the end of 2019, so we can wave goodbye to the, the Pacers. Right. You've seen the 319s today, fully yeah. refurbished inside. We know they're an older train that have been cascaded from the south, yeah. but you know what, when you're inside them, they're lovely. They're, yeah, they're harmless. Yeah. And they feel, uh, they feel as though they've been, uh, they're almost like a new train. And some of the yeah. box pops that we heard from the customers, yeah. when the BBC were doing the interviews, yeah. we heard them, the customers actually, you know, felt as though they were, they yeah. were new trains. And you mentioned um, 500 million pounds. Yes. We've got 500 million pound investment in a brand new fleet of trains. There are 101 trains. Um, which uh, will be hitting our networks uh, towards um, you know late, later in 2019, um, that will be serving this corridor yeah. out to Blackpool across the north, yeah. um, which will be transformational for our customers. It really will. So this time next year, let's say, um, it's going to be completely different. The whole face of how it used to be to the transformation of what it's going to be, it's going to be night and day. Yeah, and I think um, people have kind of uh, always heard that the transformation's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Now, we're in 2019, we can actually touch yeah. and feel the transformation. Yeah. You know, I've been on the new trains. Yeah. I'm very fortunate that I've, I've seen them. They are, they are absolutely fantastic. Yeah. They're great. At seat sockets, oh, air conditioning, on train, customer yeah. information screen, seat reservations on certain lines of route. You know, they're, they're absolutely fantastic. Do you know anything about the celebrity colour scheme of two paces? Um, that may be put back into the provincial colour and the transport for Manchester colour as a sign off for their service and longitude. So I'm aware that there are people who would like that to happen. Yeah. I've heard about the provincial yeah. colour, I've yeah. not heard about the GMPTE, right. which I actually think I've got a model of on my own personal oh, yeah. uh, train set. He does like pace, <laughs> he does. Um, so I've heard, but I don't know any, anything right. about the plans, about yeah. when it's going to happen, yeah. um, or if it's going to happen. Yeah. Um, so I guess watch this space. Yeah, let's do an e-petition. Yeah. <laughs> let's keep one going. <laughs> now we're going to get technical now. Anything that's got big words in is technical to me. Uh, and I'm moving the camera position. What you just mentioned about the collaboration of Northern and TPE. 
NetRail are, are doing this work along with um, TP and Northern who are putting in some funding as well. So it's really great because it's, you know, it's bringing, bringing everyone together. It just shows, you know, we all want good for the community. Is this going to be your favourite station? Yes. I knew you were going to say that. Oh, brilliant stuff. <laughs> Amy, you've been a gem. Thank you very much Thank and uh, I'll hopefully catch up with you soon. Keep me posted. <laughs> well done. So, Botland Station, here I am today. Part of the Great Northern Rail project of the electrification upgrade of this line known as the Botland Corridor. Now, Botland Station, nestled in pretty much the heart of Lancashire, joins up with other electrification processes of Phase 5 and Meineker Woods Phase 3 of Blackpool. A lot of work has been going on on this line. Track renewals, platform refurbishments, and new platforms being built. Farworth Tunnel, work going on one of the biggest projects of this northern northern electrification upgrade that's been going on and it's such a great achievement when I was at Blackpool seeing the upgrade that had been going on there made me very very proud for the people of Bolton and Manchester and those who use this area must be very proud to see this up and running with electric trains running now on this track fab news a testament to the hard work and solving the challenges that they've experienced on this line but they've done it and i'm going to say this in the video they've done it so so much hats off to everyone who's been involved not walking away from this project but making this project complete and usable for the passenger and on that happy note to get the community involved and get this station being used bringing life to a victorian building rather than just being sat there to waste absolute fantastic very exciting For this network for the north because that's what it all was about at the very beginning the powerhouse of the north the gnrp of bringing the north together connecting it all together and making it work for us northerns really well put oh i think i need to sit down now don't i <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs>